Well, hello everyone, welcome back to another video now. As you can see, I'm in the garden, but what you haven't seen is this new garden bed that I've built. Now this new garden bed was one of the many things on my list that I wanted to achieve, and now it's built, we can be using it for growing peas and beans. Many of us are saying it's a little bit early to sow seeds, which I do agree with. However, I've been actually checking the soil temperature of lately and I've discovered that most of my beds are about 10 degrees in the soil. So I placed over this cloche, which is gonna help warm the soil up and mean I can sow some peas, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Now I've got a bit, I love these cloches. I actually inherited these from my granddad's, just like the greenhouse we to have down on the allotment. But the plastic is becoming a little bit uh, broken, so we're gonna to have to look at replacing the plastic this year. Anyway, so peas, all I wanna do, first of all, get a drill in the ground, like so. The soil here hasn't actually been used for growing stuff in. We did have a shed here and we also have had the chickens in this area. But for growing stuff in, I don't think it's ever been used. Oh, apart from weeds, of course. First things first, label goes in. So I know what variety these are. These are Felton First Peas. They're an early variety of peas. As you can see, they look dried they just look like your standard normal peas they're a bit wrinkly which I'm told is a good sign for early peas now I'm sowing these pretty thickly really because I just want to use these seeds up to be honest with you I want them all all gone I'm trying to reduce the amount of seeds that I have in my collection uh, because otherwise they go to waste well, it's got the peas in the ground. Now we just cover them back over. And it's raining, so we're not gonna need to do any uh, watering today. But what we will need to do, is just remove a few more of these bits of weed seeds that we see. And then all we gotta do now, place this cloche back over, which is a great way just to Try and trap in some of that heat during the day and keep the peas that little bit warmer in order to get them to germinate a bit faster. There we go. Oh well, that feels good to actually get something sown and in the ground. Just hoping now that they are going to grow. Um, we will be making more sowings of peas quite regularly actually because I want to try and get hold or try and grow lots of peas this year which is why I've got this entire new bed dedicated to peas and beans this year. Well that is it for this video now let me know if you have sown any peas or any other seeds in your soil and also have you checked your soil temperatures and what is are you getting in the ground? Let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, please take care.